I mean, the name says it all. No comply. A no comply. Usually, you you pretty much use one leg. Taking your foot off is kind of a no-no. You normally have to ollie to do your trick, so like you're not complying with an ollie. You're not complying with your average skateboard trick. No comply to me personally. I mean, I didn't comply with anything in high school. It's always been a really outcast sort of trick, and now it's a trick that everybody does. Everybody was doing like the double no comply. Now I see a lot of slide no complies. You got dudes doing like tray flips in it, and then they're doing like no comply kick flips up eight sets of stairs, or like, it's crazy, man, now. It's evolution, it splits off into every possible facet. Somebody sees you put your trick out there, and on Instagram, then it inspires them to put their trick out there. People say a trick doesn't make sense. I just say, I don't care. If it doesn't make sense, that's even better. And I just, it makes it way more fun when it's like that. It's kind of magic how you step off and the board just sucks up to your leg. I think it's probably meant to represent some sort of punk rock ethos, non-compliance being true to what I am, you know. The soul of skateboarding will always be in the street, and the no comply kind of embodies that. There's nothing like eating shit on a set of stairs, getting back up, doing it again. As you no comply, you se ve como estiludo, se ve muy callejero. I feel like all skateboarders kind of have that mentality, we're used to hopping fences and not giving a crap about anything. Kind of just doing our own thing, you know? Every skateboarder can add their own little piece onto it. It's not like a video game where you beat it and you're done. It's like, you're always gonna keep going. I think of it as more of an art. It's like that T.S. Eliot quote. Good poets borrow, but great poets- T.S. Eliot wouldn't know a no comply if it hit him in the face.